You smell flying. Alright guys, real quick before we get started with this episode of Legacies, don't forget that you can get the full, uncut, unedited raw reactions to Legacies on my Patreon. The link will be at the top of the description, so if you want to rewatch these episodes along with me in their entirety, definitely check it out. Otherwise, of course, we'll still be on YouTube, just heavily edited. But other than that, let's get in this episode, guys. I'm so excited. Here we go. Who was watching that the whole time? How they put aside their differences. Except they didn't. Yeah! Now what? Also, I have wax in my mouth for my braces, so if you see something in my mouth, that's why. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cupid? <laughs> Mailman and dog are best friends. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like the Valentine's episode, even though... There's more episodes before Valentine's. Superman's an alien, you're a bird. <laughs> yeah, well, you didn't know you were a fairy until yesterday. Don't be smug. Oh, I like I how they're like just best friends now. friend until Raphael gets back. What? He's not a stand-in friend, come on. Kevin Life and call Bonnie. I need you here more. How about you they both come to school? This is not a good idea. I would feel so much better if you were here with me. Aw. I'm sorry. I have to go beyond Fear the Walking Dead. I can't. Or maybe I can catch the next flight. Oh, God. Oh, if I knew how annoying you'd be, I would have sent you away, too. How's this? You tell me where the real Ascendant is, and I won't pluck your eyelash extensions out one by one. Sorry, but <laughs> I don't negotiate with basic witches. Fine, I'll find it myself. I hope it won't <laughs> come off as too much of a surprise if I tell you... I want to ask her out. Aww. No, I'm, I'm happy surprised. for Angie. He deserves to be happy. Disappointed, but <laughs> not surprised. He hit him with that. I'm just disappointed. Does he not want her with a vamp? Because, like, MG's the most trustful guy ever. Kim loves pool parties, chocolate covered strawberries, and uh, rose. He better not be fake and give him all fake things. Phoenix powers activate. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Damn, kid, get off of me. Phoenix powers activate. As if that's gonna work. Oh shit. <laughs> Next time it'll be something that won't grow back. Unless you tell us why you're here. They cut his wings off? Every arrow in there only helps people express the love they already feel inside. Most people say thank you. But if you keep trying to be the hero, one day I'm gonna have to choose between saving you and stopping something terrible from happening. And I don't wanna think about what that day looks like. Damn. What does this say? She makes him seem so useless, though. Just watch him till I get back, okay? Aw, but he's doing good. And if he's you making want to prove that you themselves. mean us no harm, what's the strongest one of those you got to melt the coldest, bitchiest heart? <laughs> Shoot that bitch right in the booth. Don't tell me you've had a change of heart. No, but you're about to. <laughs> that was such corny writing. <laughs> I'm not stressing about my outfit. I know I look good. <laughs> it's just that I have this thing with pools. Yeah, he gave them all bad he advice. Pushed me in the deep end at the neighborhood pool when I was like ten. How do you feel about chocolate covered strawberries? I'm allergic to both. Why? And frosé? I'm guess allergic to strawberries too. Thing. Not like deathly allergic, but I am allergic. I get hives when I eat them. The hell was that, Hope? I had a whole date set up. <clears throat> hey, that, that's perfect. You okay, ruined my you date. Help. With Cupid? Worse. Oh god. Does she have a crush on MG? Oh my god, I think she does. Didn't she have like an anti-spell potion or something? So would the arrows also work with that? Like not work? Hi. What if she's faking it? Just get away. Have you tried both not wearing pants? <laughs> it's very nope, freeing. Not yet. Uh, but it's only safe for one person at a time. But you look thirsty. Uh, for a frosé. I mean... <laughs> I would love a glass. Thank you. Well, this is saying it's horny as hell. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uncomfortable. I can't help it. This enchantment itches like crazy. Almost as delicious as French bulldogs. Not like that! <laughs> okay, you 
know what, maybe I'm good without the backup. You're messing up my game. <clears throat> I was thinking something more like if I had. I feel like Kim's gonna see this and get really upset. Hide somewhere. Where should I put it? Oh no. Oh god. Now Caleb's gonna hate the idea of her and him together even more so. God. Oh, they're gonna. powerful as she is, but I just, I just wish she wouldn't treat me like some fragile object. I was on the verge of breaking. I want her to look at me the same way I look at her. Maybe helping him is helping his wings grow back. Uh, sorry, bud. I gotta fly. This is force fields have ceilings. No. Shit. Two can play at that game. Oh, still not happening. I really want it to work. It's gonna be so satisfying when he finally flies, though. I hereby bring this meeting of the Super Squad to order. Now, I know what you. <laughs> That's the whole Super Squad. We are not heroes. Is this supposed to be motivational? <laughs> this is it's time for change. us to step up. My destiny is somewhere else. And I gotta go find her. Oh my god. Now if he if Hope finds out that he lost him, it's gonna be even worse. Can I keep them after? Um, all yours. Now we just <laughs> sure. need to find Cupid wherever he's making bridesmaids wear 27 dresses or making jocks fall in love with nerdy girls. Mm. No one's ever set up such an amazing first date. They should have explained to Kim I can't imagine like what was happening. Is that your foot? No. Damn, she's wild in school pool and she's doing this shit. The real reason I did all this was to get you to tell me where the ascendant is. We didn't just tell her the whole damn plan. So if that's what you want, I'll take you to the ascendant. How much you want to bet this whole scene was done with ADR? Because a lot of his lines didn't look like they matched his mouth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking cool. <gasps> oh. Oh, Love isn't a fairy tale. Love so he's not a just... commitment, a powerful bond. A uh, declaration of souls oh, uniting love, Cupid. today it is Emmetig. And Dorian Williams. I object. Oh my god. No. You're a child. What are you doing here? Marry me instead. Mm. Make me the happiest wolf in the pack. Oh my god. <gasps> Guys, I, I can't see. Oh no. I tried. Come on. Uh, we were, I was just um, trying to help. Look, okay, hope me, relax. So we were just trying to eat it. Damn. See, I knew that was gonna happen. He was gonna fail and then hear it from her. He's not uh, about killed. That. He's gone. Oh shit, she's actually giving it to him. Uh, I'm into somebody new. Well, that's convenient. Uh, get the ascendant before that. It was never gonna be me. Damn. I'm sorry, Alyssa. No way. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Can they put it back together though, like they did the other one? Didn't Cupid have siblings? The arrows. <clears throat> each representing a different type of love and attraction. Each one with a different weakness. Oh God. Gods. Plural, <laughs> seven of them. So you have to try all the weaknesses? I, I, I tried to stick to the plan, but once you were gone... This is why I do everything myself. Oh so my god, Hope, you chill. Making out with her. And it wasn't you manipulating her. Obsession. Like boiling bunnies burn your house down? Obsession? That's not romance, Hope. That's a whole different movie genre. I just yeah. grabbed the strongest one I could find. Oh god, she's gonna hurt Cam. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, I saw you on that date. The date that you ruined? Ruined? It didn't look so ruined with you vamping your tongue down Alyssa Chang's throat. Yeah, you see this? This is exactly why I didn't want you two dating. We can talk about this later, but right now we got a jet, man. Come on. Oh, God. This is between us girls. Oh, my God. 
I can't imagine that burning love, Ariel, feels too good, does it? <laughs> Burns you from the inside out until your whole body is reduced to ash. Save for your juicy, Ooh. delicious heart. Landon's gonna be able to save her now. <laughs> Does he have some type of <clears throat> blood that would kill him? MG's apparently open for business. We've never even been on a date. Our date was amazing until he Just said kill that he her. doesn't want me. Tired he won't kill her! Oh, you've never eaten a heart as full of love as mine is for her. Is that why you're unloading all your relationship problems on me? That stuff I said doesn't matter. The love that Hope and I have for each other is more than I ever dreamed of finding in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. No, he's not gonna actually die. He always comes back. He's gotta have something in his blood or something that kills him. Yep. There is something in his blood, I guarantee it. He saved her. He's the hero. You're okay. We just knew that they each had a different weakness, so I ate sheep's brain, um, hemlock, oh. molten silver, yew bark, red wine, and devil's ivy. You did all that to save me? I hope none of that's gonna hurt him. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <Good job. laughs> Is it gonna happen? Aww. He did it though. He was so cute. Oh, no. I almost got sliced in half by a witch today. And Cupid turned out to be some heart eating asshat. Welcome to the Salvatore School. Well, she doesn't want to stay. She has no way to defend herself when stuff like that happens. Mm. I'll be waiting by the magic mirror. No. Really? Ugh. Aww. I want him to be happy, though. I really thought he was finally going to be happy. Honestly, I don't know how. So you just do destructive okay. things um, and don't know how to undo it. Cool. Then I guess I get comfy here. Are we married or not? You know, I always thought Rick would be my best man. I'm going to get him back. Yeah. The Cupid thing just got us all a little distracted. Sleep. Exactly. That's so awkward that all of a sudden it wears off and they're like, "Oops, so we're all married." Junk. <laughs> Junk! Junk! Why have you wasted our time stealing all this junk again? Junk! Oh my god. Isn't that that thing Pothos said he wanted in exchange for distracting the Salvatore kids? The golden arrow. Good job, Chad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what does that do? Look, I know I've been reluctant to let you step up. But obviously, you can handle yourself. Finally. Did you mean what you said about not knowing why I picked you? Oh, uh... I don't know. I mean... Yes. Maybe. He is so patient and trusting and kind and a thousand other things I never was. So if all I ever have is the memory of the way he loved me, then I will survive this. Aww, that's so sweet. That's why she chose you. He's flying. Aww, you did it. Never. Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> and then they fall. All right, there they were, season two, episode 11 of Legacies. This was a really cute episode. We find out that Alyssa had feelings for MG, which is crazy. So Cupid was like the monster of the week. Let me first say, I'm getting like a little bit 
Mm, I'm just kind of over the monster of the week thing, especially when we come from like such a great episode last episode to a monster of the week. It kind of takes some of that like excitement out of it. And I don't understand why they went that direction with legacies to do the monster of the week instead of just like having a main storyline and kind of sticking to that main storyline, like the originals and the Vampire Diaries, because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they would have a lot more time for the side storylines if they just did main storyline. I don't see the point in having like a main storyline and also a monster of the week. Like, of course you can have one here and there, but like, I think there's a difference between like having a side storyline here and there with a monster than to have one every episode or every so episodes. I'm just kind of over that and I know this was more so like it's supposed to be like a Valentine's Day episode but still. So I'm excited to get to the prison world storyline and start that. That last episode got me so excited for that and this one looks kind of like a filler. They used MG to get to Alyssa but in the end none of it really matters because she doesn't know how to get them back. So now all they have is the duplicate, I, I keep forgetting what it's called, the duplicate thing and no way to get to them. So I don't know what the plan for that is, but Landon really shined this episode. He tried to take down Cupid, which wasn't even Cupid himself, um, but it failed because Cupid wasn't Cupid. It was Cupid's older brother and there was a different way to take him down. So it kind of bit them in the butt and came after Hope and Landon, panicking, did all of the things and ate all of the things that were the weaknesses for all of the brothers, all of the like related Cupids um, to see how he could take it down and ended up saving the day. And that way it made Hope trust that he could take care of himself. And in the very end, he finally learned to fly. And I feel like maybe that's all that it took was for her to believe in him. And just like Wade needed someone to believe in him and Landon believing in him helped him with his powers. Hope really believing in him helped Landon with his. And I think that was so sweet. And what she wrote about him was so sweet. Um, and it was just a really cute episode. Kim left and is no longer at school anymore because she was really scared by what happened with Alyssa. I don't blame her. Like, this is a supernatural school. It's not for humans and it's not safe for humans. And I don't blame her for not wanting to be a part of that, to be honest. And it just, it hurts my heart for MG because now I want Lizzie with Sebastian. I just thought he was going to, like, finally find his love, you know? And I think Caleb was screwed up for giving him fake advice. To, on like how to win his sister over because um, he's really only just trying to be a good guy and he's trying to do what everyone wants him to do and in that we got Caleb mad at him for the whole Alyssa thing it was just kind of a mess but yeah I'm really excited for the next episode I think the next episode is with Kai and the only reason I'm saying that is because it already aired I haven't seen any spoilers but it already aired um, and so you probably have seen it if you're watching this but I'm really excited and I will see you guys in that episode thanks for watching